Hey guys, it's Anissa Lamara. I have teamed up with The Cut Life again to bring you this really funky faux bob using clip-in extensions. So if you would like to see how I achieve this style, stay tuned. So for this style, I'm gonna be starting with a three day old wash and go. As you can see, it's a little smushed. So we're gonna be stretching it on out using Big Chop Hair Clip-In Extensions. I'm using their Kinky Curly Clip-Ins and their multiple sizes. And as you can see, I already have it pre-colored to my own personal hair color. So starting off, I'm just going to clip in the clip-ins and start trimming them off. I'm making sure that I don't cut off too much in the beginning because I want the style to be a specific length and then I'm going to take this curls to go by Jane Carter solution um, hydrating mist I'm just going to dampen my hair a little bit and then use the Denman brush to blend my hair and the hair extension um, hair together and then just begin twisting um, to twist I am using a hair butter if you've been following my channel I actually used to make hair butters and I might start back so you never know and then towards the end, I'm going to create a foam mousse um, to give it a little bit more hold and then curl the ends with a perm rod. So with clip-ins, they can be a little bit tricky because it's like a puzzle almost. You have to see what part fits where and you kind of have to play with it as you go. Um, I would say actually twisting and curling the ends took about an hour and a half to finish my entire head because I have really, really thick hair. And I was really taking my time because I want this to be a specific look that I'm going for. So I'm just taking my time with this and just kind of um, making sure that these sections aren't too big so I'm doing about one inch sections and then so I'm just going to repeat this all over my head and as you can see I have it parted on the side so it's going to be a deep side part um, so again I'm just going to apply the clip-ins and kind of like work my way around and then just cut maybe about four or five inches off and then apply the hair butter to my edges and to the hair to give it a little bit more hold and then apply the styling mousse towards the end so it'll wrap around the perm rod effortlessly and that is pretty much it so I'm just going to let y'all watch the process because it indeed was a process <laughs> And then so since I dampened my hair a little bit, I'm going to have to let it dry. So I put it under a hooded dryer for about an hour. And then I took out the perm rods. And as you can see, they look really lanky and wonky. And it's the reason why they look that way. So basically for this style, I wanted to stretch my hair, my actual hair, without applying any heat. So mixing my hair with this looser textured um, clip-in extensions, it made that process a little bit easier by twisting them in together so I'm just going to untwist them and begin doing the styling this is the tricky part because I was trying to make sure I did not cut my hair but the clip-ins are a completely different texture than my hair so it's easy to kind of identify um, cutting it so I'm just styling it basically kind of like trimming it or shaving it off as I stated earlier I didn't cut off too much um, so now this is the part where I'm just really cutting it into the style I'm taking the middle of the scissor and kind of shaving off not directly cutting but kind of like shaving off and tapering off the extra long parts and this is going to create that almost like a faux bob type look and I'm just going to continue to cut and kind of style it as I go um, making sure that I do not cut my hair and trust me I have already taken these out already and I did not cut my hair but if you're doing this make sure you are taking your time because you will be really upset if you cut your own hair if that's not what you're trying to do is as you can see the color blended in so well with my hair and using that hair butter and that mousse really brought out a really nice shine so it really gave my hair color a lot of dimension 
So for my sides, I'm just going to take a little bit of edge control and brush it down. And bobby pins have made a serious comeback um, over the last year or so. So I'm just going to kind of put the hair in place using the bobby pins and just kind of create like a really cute, funky, geometrical style with the bobby pins. Just to give it a little bit of a funky look. And then I'm just going to lay down my edges with the same edge control. I believe this edge control is by by Palmer's I believe and that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this hair turned out so pretty like prettier than I thought it was going to be and it stretched out my hair um, seamlessly without me having to apply any heat so make sure you guys go and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Anissa Lamara and follow me on social media at Anissa Lamara on all social media channels until next time see you guys later peace